Yeah, I know I'm from the east, but now nah, I'm not a banger. You better watch out for this West Coast swanger. West Coast. We don't let, we don't let, homie. Swanger. Yeah, I know we're from the east, and now I'm not a banger. You better watch out for this West Coast. Listen to Johnson right here, the Money Motivator, aka that Crypto Leo King, and we're gonna have some crypto talk right now. First off, I want to address this polar bear outfit that I have on, so you guys are not wondering what I'm rocking. Okay, I'm up in the freezing cold right now, and so I had to have something to keep me warm, and that's what this is. Okay, and it's going into the Christmas time frame, so I have a, a great excuse and reasoning for that. So go ahead and LOL, laugh out loud, do whatever you have to do. Now let's focus on some crypto. So here we are on Coin Market Cap. All right, you see all of these ups from all of the top cryptos right now, and this is one thing that I really want you guys to pay attention to. Anytime Bitcoin takes a major drop, as we just experienced, because we went from eighteen thousand down to like fourteen thousand, I believe, and that's something that I want everyone to make sure that you pay attention to and understand that when you see the your balance dropping in whatever your wallet is and you see it going down because the value is going down, that is your time to buy, not panic. You don't want to panic. You want to buy. You want to buy more at that point in time because it's going to go back up. So you don't want to wait till it's at this highest point and buy and buy when it's more expensive. You want to buy when it's lower. So, um, as you can see, it's already climbing back up. So, you're kind of already missing out if you're just watching that ride up. But it's never too late to jump in because we all should know by now that Bitcoin is going to continue to rise. I'm projecting that we're going to clear this year at 25000 in value. So, as of right now, you see we are at about 16700 So, um, it's, it's never too late to get on, but you always, always want to buy when it's low so periodically you guys can um, come to coin market cap and check out and see what's going on or you can just log into your coinbase account or um, wherever you can actually view whatever the value is currently and see if it's up or down but if you go to coin coin market cap you can actually see if it's up or down and not I mean as far as the percentage and if it's in the negative that's when you want to buy if you are holding out so um, if you're in altcoins which is anything else besides Bitcoin you want to uh, you can scroll down and check out and see which ones have you been hearing about um, as you see here you have 12 percent 13 percent 33 percent these are all huge major gains that you can be um, you can be earning some money now if you I'm going to start putting together some videos to teach you guys how to come in and buy buy low and sell high but utilize the altcoin so you can buy more Bitcoin or any of the top three or top five IOTA's been kicking butt. I haven't looked into IOTA. I've just been watching the numbers. And IOTA's been climbing the charts for like the past uh, three week, three to four weeks. And um, and they made it to the top four. And they're not even, I don't even think they're in Bitrix. I don't even think they made it to Bitrix. So, uh, which is a place to, uh, one of the exchanges, one of the top exchanges. If you really want to get into trading um, or uh, pretty much trading, you can you can come on um, Bitrix or any of the exchanges, and you can see wh where the coins are on different exchanges by simply click clicking on the coin. So we'll use Bitcoin for example. You click here and you go to the market, and it tells you what exchanges that they are on. And of course, Bitcoin is going to be just about on all of them. So that was a like one of the top examples. But okay, let's check out. Well, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin is pretty much going to be on all of them. But if you're interested in any of these other altcoins, um, you can click on them and check and see what uh, markets they're. I mean, yeah, what markets they're on, which is going to be the exchanges, and that's where you can go and trade them. That's if you really want to get into depth about um, exchanging them, because you can easily exchange them there. But if you don't want to go that far, you can just simply just buy them and then sell them. And one place that I recommend that I tell everybody is to go to coin payments. You go to coin payments, send your Bitcoin over or whatever altcoin that you have, right? You want to send it over to coin payments into your uh, your wallet address. You're going to create one. So let's log into my coin payments account. There is, they do not have an affiliate link, so you don't have to 
worry about getting in contact with your sponsor or whoever brought you to this group. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, uh, you don't have to worry about getting a link from me because they do not have an affiliate uh, link for, I forgot my password, I'm sorry. They do not have an affiliate link for coin payments. I would. Oh, jeez. This is not mine. I am like just forgetting everything. Okay, here we go. Can't lose my tags. Again, um, always want to stress security. If you guys have not taken my free course yet, please, 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 please take my free course. For one thing, time management. Um, I love to teach you guys all of this information, but at the same time, I, I really have to take a lot of time out of my schedule to answer all of your questions. So I actually created the course so I do not have to do that. I can just send you over to the course and you actually go through all 10 lessons and you can answer most of these questions that you guys are asking me. So please go through the course and you'll understand all of this. But security is, um, is talked about heavily in there. Um, many of you may know that I um, actually got hacked for 5.3 Bitcoin and that was because of my lack of security on my desktop wallet. All right. So I do go over the three different um, the three different wallets that you can have, which is going to be online, your desktop wallets or your phone wallets, uh, which is going to be in the app, or your um, your your hard wallets. All right, and there's pros and cons to all of them. So definitely go over that course. Um, I believe that is uh, CryptoTraining.com. No, no, excuse me, CryptoTraining.YieldProsperity.com, and it's free. I'm not charging you for it. Let's see here. Let's see here. I actually did not get a. Okay, it's going to be an email. Well, that explains it. Alright, um, I'm actually going to need to, of course, buy me some more popcorns. Now, this is just one place, okay? So, what you're going to do, again, so after you create your account, you're not going to have any wallets here. Alright, you're not going to, excuse me, you just click on your wallet, of course. You, as you see, they have they have hundreds of crypto, I mean, of altcoins, or different cryptocurrencies, okay? So, you're going to create your Bitcoin wallet, unless you have on the altcoin whether it's ethereum or ripple or whatever it is you're going to come and create a wallet here so you're going to click on whatever it is options all right and then you're going to click on uh, receive or deposit and when you do that it's going to ask you to uh, add a new deposit address which is going to be your e-wallet so you're going to click on that and you're going it's going to generate a wallet address for you and then you can uh you know nickname it whatever you want to nickname it all right, so that's going to be your wallet address. So if you do not know what a wallet address is, again, you should know that after you take my course. But um, that's going to be, you know, these long, these long numbers and letters right here. So you're going to uh, copy that, put it in your uh, your wallet address that you're sending from, whether it's Coinbase or not. You're going to click send, put in this wallet address, and um, put in the amount of currency, whatever the currency is. You're going to send that off in that amount, and it's going to get here eventually. It fluctuates. It can be 30 minutes to two hours. All right. Um, so then after it comes into your wallet, um, there's going to be a button that pops up. All right. You can click the convert button and then select what you want to convert it to. So so this is this is what you want to pay attention to. You're going to come over to CoinMarketCap as soon as I figure out where that tab is. OK, so you're going to come to CoinMarketCap. You're going to. Pay attention to whatever altcoin it is that you want to buy in on. Now remember, when 
Bitcoin goes down, the altcoins are going to go up because what is happening is people are people are selling or exchanging Bitcoin for an altcoin. So when Bitcoin is just skyrocketing, people are going to take that take the profits that they made out of that because the altcoins majority of the time are going to be down. All right? So they're going to take take what they made from um made on that up and they're going to exchange it for some of these altcoins because those altcoins are going to go up and you want to buy when they're low and sell when they're high. Okay? So you're going to get them when they're low and then when they go up in value like this 29% in a day, 15%, 29%, some of these are 30%, 60% if you, oh, I keep scrolling down. I think I've seen one for 60 60% gain in just one day. Look at this, 67. I don't even know what Request Network is. It doesn't even matter because you can make money off of it. You don't have to care about the coin. You don't have to believe in whatever the coin does. You just make money off the up and then exchange it back to a currency that you actually care about. So, I mean, these are huge gains. 30%, 40%, 20%, 60%, 50% gains in a day. All right, look at Monaco, 56%. So, then... So as I said, if you were in coin payments, okay, so like I said, when you have Bitcoin in there, it's going to be a convert button. So you're going to click convert, and then you're going to select that currency that you want to trade for. So you're going to trade for how much ever you want to buy, all right, and then, and then it's going to come up. Let me see. It's going to go up, all right, and then when it goes up, like this is 56%. You can actually wait another day to see if it continues to go up, but they don't go up for long. So I'll give you about two maybe one or two days one or two days and then you want to go ahead and dump that if it if it's a coin that you want to keep hold on to you want to hold on to at least 60 percent of it and dump the rest into a, a currency that you want all right so you're going to sell while it's high because it's going to go back down the only thing that's really 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 consistent um it's going to it's going to be usually the top three or the top five okay the top three has been the top three for some time but anything below than that, are they're battling it out. All right, IOTA, Ripple, uh, Litecoin, they've been duking it out. So, um, and I, as a matter of fact, I think Bitcoin Cash may have just recently came up, but don't quote me on that. Um, and then, of course, as always, I want you to, I want you all to make sure that you are putting a certain amount of out of your profits into Bitcoin and holding on to it. That's the main goal, okay? Bitcoin is a store of value. That's something that you want to hold on to for the long haul. If you're taking a certain portion of your Bitcoin and investing into something else, that's so you can make more money in that so you can buy more Bitcoin. That's my recommendations. You guys can do whatever you want, but that's what I'm uh, recommending. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. I'm going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to separate... I'm going to separate exchanges or videos on exchanging because it's more detailed if I if you do it in the market. Okay, so for example, if you were to exchange Bitcoin for what is this EMC uh, EMC two Einsteinium? Okay, it's like an Einstein coin, I guess. Whatever. Okay, so this really breaks down into the charts, the ups and the downs. You hear people talking about candles and stuff like that. That's really going to get more in depth into trading. Um, those videos were, are, of course, are going to be separate, okay? But you don't have to really learn all of this to still make money on the ups and the downs, and that's why I showed you how to do it throughout coin payments. Um, in regards to how to how to exchange for them, I just showed you guys coin payments. Please set up an account with coin payments, and you can do that. That's free. And then. Any other questions that you guys have that you guys want me to um, to show you an example of, I will go ahead and upload that as well. That will be put in the, the group on Facebook, and I'll even upload it on my channel, and I'm going to create a playlist for that on my YouTube channel. If, you have, if you're not on my YouTube channel, go ahead and go to uh, viewprosperity.com forward slash YT for YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're already watching this from my YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed below. And hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video and updates. If you want to see what I'm investing in and my daily gains, I also have a playlist for that. That's also on my YouTube channel. And I will continue to upload 
uh, more videos on that as well. And just real quick, here's an example of that convert button. So you click that convert button and you see all the different uh, coins that are available to convert to. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next update. Take it easy.